what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new issue type. So if we wanted to create a new issue type, we'd click on Add Issue Type. Then name it. So we're going to make this a story. Uh, you're given a field here to enter a description. Um, that's probably a good idea because going forward, you're going to interact with these on a daily basis and you may create something that you don't normally use and you want to reference it and kind of see real quickly what it's for. But story is pretty simple. So I'm going to write for the description. I'm going to write this is a story. Uh, we'll make it a standard issue type. Uh, you could make it a subtask issue type. What that's going to do is it's going to make it so you can associate it to a standard issue type, which would be a parent. So, for instance, if I made story as a standard issue type and then later wanted to create a subtask, I would call it development subtask and then choose subtask issue type and I can relate many of these to my one story. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add it. Oops, let me click standard issue type. Add it. And you'll see by default it associates it with the issue, def, default issue type scheme. Um, so for our Disco Skip Spiff project, we have created a workflow uh, called Disk Project Management Issue Type Scheme. Um, and you can see that in the workflows. So right here is what we've created. You can take a look at that. And it shows my issue comes in as a to-do. It moves over into in progress. Uh, from in progress, it can either be failed and go back to to-do, or it can move forward again into done. Once it hits done, of course, it's, it's completed, but maybe something went wrong with it and you want to reopen that issue or revisit it, you can always reopen. It goes back into do, and then you can walk it back through the workflow. So what we want to do is we want to associate the story that we just created with this workflow. That way it will follow that workflow through its life cycle and we can get the proper results that we're looking for on the other side of JIRA. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to issue type schemes um, and we're going to see the different schemes that it can follow. Uh, I'm going to choose the issue type scheme right here and click edit. Uh, then on edit, we can see that this scheme is already associated with task and subtask. But what I want is it to be associated now with the new story that we just created. So I can pick this up and just drag it over, drop it, click on save. And now if we go back to issue types, we can see story is now following the Disco Spiff project management issue type scheme. So now, if we want to go back to JIRA, what we can do is we can create a new issue. Um, I, will, I can create a story, name it, scroll down, click create. And then we have our story. Give it just a second to pull up. And we can see this is the first story in JIRA. Now, if I start progress, the issue goes to in progress. And from here, I can stop progress. I'll go back to do, start progress again or finish the project, progress. Done, market is done. Choose a resolution type, done. And now we can see it's done. 
And if we re just to test it out, if we reopen the issue, it goes back to to do.